welcome everyone again to uh, CAS Campus Connections. I'm Yasmin, as you already know, I've been working with you all. So Mondays are our new days of connection, connecting and just making sure that you all know that at UB, we are here to support you. We'll continue to support you uh, in person, online. No crisis is going to keep us away from each other. So every single week, we will be here at 4 p.m. If I don't immediately return your call or you can't get a hold of someone, at least you know that you can find us here uh, for our CAS Campus Connections. So every week we'll have a new office. Uh, Dean Spencer uh, and myself will be here to make sure that they share all the perks of University of Baltimore and how they're able to support you uh, during your time here. So I'll turn it over to Dean Spencer to introduce our special guests today. Well, hello everyone. I'm Dean Chris Spencer and I'm really happy that you could join us today. Um, before we get started with the introductions, I just want to uh, give a little commercial to encourage you, if you haven't already done so, to enroll in your fall classes. They are filling up and we want to make sure you get the, the, um, the courses that you need and we're uh, just so thrilled that you're here and if there's any financial issues that are holding that up, we have the right uh, seminar for you today. So let me introduce um, Terry Richards, who is our uh, Executive Director of the Office of Financial Aid. Terry has uh, been here for, what is it, about a year now, right? Um, yes. And he's been doing a wonderful job at uh, trans transforming our financial aid delivery system. I really appreciate all that you've done, Terry. Uh, Thank you. And uh, next, I want to introduce Tom Healy, who is our um, senior financial aid counselor. And Tom and I haven't actually met yet, so this is a really nice opportunity to meet you and appreciate your being here with our students today. So um, I'll turn it over to you, Terry. Do you want to get started and, and tell us how your office is useful to students during their time at UB? Uh, sure, and uh, thanks for the uh, uh, opportunity to be here. This is really great. Um, UB is an amazing institution, and I, I'm very proud to be affiliated with it. And I think that uh, it's an excellent uh, uh, place to, uh, and I'm assuming everybody on here is a graduate student. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, and yes. It's pretty much correct. Yes, so grad or undergrad, it's, it's a great place to be, but in particular for grad students, that are changing careers or, or that are looking to do something different uh, to improve their skill set, do those kinds of things. UB is an excellent, wonderful urban institution that will give you amazing experiences um, as you're uh, enrolled here. The Office of Financial Aid is here to help you afford uh, to attend the University of Baltimore. And we do that a number of ways. One is that we um, uh, work, uh, help you walk through completing the um, FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, which is the um, baseline application uh, that you have to complete for just about any type of financial aid. Um, uh, unless you're an international student. And um, it will help you get through that process. Uh, it can be a little scary at times, uh, but believe me, uh, in the last uh, few years, they've made it much easier. If you haven't already done your FAFSA, you simply go online uh, and you can do it online. And if you have filed your 2018 again, 2018 uh, tax return, you can link the application, your application to the IRS database, and they will populate a lot of the data for you. And um, if you are increasingly like uh, many people that I know, the technology uh, that you have, uh, it looks like an iPhone like this. And you can actually go and download a uh, page uh, called My Student Aid. And this is, you can actually use your handheld device to complete the FAFSA. 
So it's not like you have to find a computer and sit down and do this, especially if you've already filed your tax return. So if you have questions about doing that, uh, we can help you uh, through our financial aid uh, email box and Yasmin can provide that uh, for you. For graduate students, um, it's mostly about loans. And here's where you're going to have to listen uh, to the fact that I'm old and I have gray hair uh, and not much of it left. Um, borrow judiciously. Do not borrow more than you need. You need to pay your tuition and fees. And if you're coming back to school, grad school full time, uh, you'll need to uh, borrow money to help pay with uh, pay for living expenses, perhaps, and for books and supplies. But you don't need to borrow money, especially if you are online and um, still living with your parents in some cases. Uh, don't borrow money for a car payment, uh, <laughs> things like that. And um, again, be very careful about what you spend because at the graduate level, unlike the undergraduate level, 100% uh, of the money that you borrow, the interest begins to accrue on the day that it is dispersed. So if you had loans as an undergrad, some of those were what was called subsidized loans which meant that the government was paying the interest while you were in school. Um, and for the first six months uh, after you uh, finished uh, school, uh, and then you started uh, paying the interest on that. Uh, at the grad level, it's just the opposite. Here's my other piece of advice to you. Because the interest is accruing from day one on student loans, um, uh, you will have the option to pay that interest uh, monthly or quarterly. And I strongly encourage you to do that. Because if you don't, you're going to end up paying interest on interest. It compounds. And that um, money that you borrow, if you don't pay the interest on it at the end of your program, you're going to owe. Um, potentially a few thousand more than what you actually borrowed. So part of our job in financial aid is to help uh, counsel you um, on things like this. So I'm, I'm telling you all of this because I want you to reach out to us and we will uh, you know, help guide you to the programs and the best strategies for paying for your education. Uh, we do have some scholarships, and Tom's going to talk about those. Uh, but before I turn it over to him, because we're telecommuting um, and teleworking, uh, you can contact the financial aid office uh, at uh, financialaid at ubalt.edu. Again, financialaid at ubalt.edu.